Some Lobo fans are starting to get restless and vent as the basketball team hits the skids. After a run of four NCAA tournament appearances in five years, some fans are having trouble with being in the middle of the pack. News 13's Chris McKee has been getting reaction from local analysts and fans today. Chris? Yeah, Jessica, with three losses in a row and a mediocre conference record, the Lobo men's basketball team hasn't struggled like this in about eight years. Air Force, victorious here at home. First it was Air Force. Couldn't score. <laughs> then a home loss to Utah State. But we got to finish better. And, and last night, a loss at Colorado State. A three-game slide, and Lobo fans aren't too happy. It's not a good feeling. It's tough. We're used to something a little bit. Better. But it's not just on campus. Local sports talk radio hosts are hearing it too. I don't think the season's what any Lobo fan hoped for. KNML host Michael Carlisle says with the recent losing streak, he's noticing more upset Lobo fans calling into the sports bar talk show. What I saw was a team that seemed to be struggling uh, with its identity. is a lack of platform confidence. There isn't a, a leader on the court. The team has dropped to 14 and 10 and 6 and 6 in the conference. The Lobos haven't struggled like this since the 2006-07 season, the year before Steve Alford came to UNM. I will say that Lobo fan is not a patient fan base and I completely understand that. Online, the comments are getting harsh too. The redmenace.com is getting a lot of it. Do you feel there's Lobo fan backlash right now? Oh sure, absolutely. I, I think uh, you know, it's a very polarizing situation, Lobo basketball. Lobo Athletics declined an interview about the fan climate today. Lucero says he expected the rebuilding project. I think it's going to be a tough couple of years. because While it may be a downtime for the Lobos, many fans say they're not giving up on the season. Because they're a team. you got to support your team through thick and thin. My confidence is still there, always a Lobo fan. Yeah, it definitely motivates us to do better, uh, to do a lot better in the future. Right? Right now, it looks like if the Lobos want to keep that NCAA tournament streak alive, they will have to win the conference tournament next month. The Lobos get Nevada next, and that is in Reno on Saturday. Back to you, Jessica. All right, thank you, Chris. Attendance is still strong, though, and a lot of Lobo fans knew this could be a down year after UNM lost its top three players, two of them, to the NBA. Cruz, you started working.